My name is Jason Ahey. I'm a general ophthalmologist at Zion Eye Institute in St. George, Utah. And um, we've been using the LightMed laser now for a couple of years. Um, when we initially bought the laser, uh, I did some research on several lasers, but this was uh, the best laser that we found. It's very compact, easy to use, the optics are excellent, and um, it also does SLT as, as well as uh, YAG treatments. And for a while we used the laser, we had great experience with it. I saw some articles about uh, vitrolysis, and so I did some more research on different systems, and um, the LightMed system was what I thought was a no-brainer. Just with a simple upgrade, we were able to start using vitrolysis for our patients. I knew the procedure was safe from the literature that I read, um, and it's, it's fairly easy. The patients uh, really like it, and it works very well. The procedure is covered by insurance, and so there wasn't much barrier to entry um, from a cost standpoint, and um, the reimbursement is excellent. So we, we found it to be an excellent addition for our practice and for our patients. You know, we wanted to get the message out to the community, um, so we did a one radio advertisement, and obviously our website, we, we have all of the different procedures that we offer, so we added that to our website. But between the one radio ad and our website, uh, we, we had a lot of interest from the community, a lot of calls, and patients coming in to learn more about it. And as we got more efficient and word spread, uh, our local newspaper uh, offered to come and interview one of our doctors uh, about the procedure. And so the newspaper article was also an excellent way to get the word out to the community. Uh, since then we've, we've been doing uh, at least two or three vitrolysis treatments every week. Um, so it, it's been working very well for us. My personal preference, I usually start out at five millijoules and I adjust from there. I usually don't go any higher than about six or six and a half. Um, sometimes I reduce the laser if I need to, but right around five millijoules usually works very well. As far as the type of floaters that are best treated, I always tell the patients that um, the floater needs to be within the visual axis so that we can focus on it. If it's too far in the periphery, we wouldn't be able to focus on it. The best type of floaters to treat are the well-defined solid floaters. Patients can usually describe them very well to you, but the solid, more well-defined floaters are very easy to treat. It usually takes somewhere between 150 and maybe 450 uh, shots to treat a specific floater. And very rarely do we need to uh, come back and do a second or a third treatment. And there have been no complications. Um, I haven't seen uh, a single complication from doing vitrolysis treatment. Uh, and um, we do at least a couple of procedures a week. And um, it, it just works very well. We've had excellent feedback from all of our doctors and our patients. And I would recommend it to anybody who's looking to get into uh, vitrolysis, uh, the light med lasers um, by far and away I think most comfortable best optics uh, cost-effective laser to get into that. <laughs>